Hello ladies and gentlemen, today the long awaited video we will be discussing the life school gear set and where to get it all. There will be three different sets for this and I'm going to try and run through it as quick as I can because I need to try and keep this video within 15 minutes. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are on my life wizard because I have it on we'll start the healing set, Jade Hood and Mystery, Crown Shop, Keeper's Law Pack. Spooky Carnival Suit, Spooky Carnival Bundle, uh, GameStop, $29.99. Best robe, really, for healing. Could also go to the Jade Rope if you want to play more defensive. But if you want to go on the budget, the Majoris robe dropped from the Rat is really good as well because it gives high outgoing. So I'd be sure to check that one out too. For boots, Rocker Sompers from the Battle of the Bands Gauntlet. For the simple fact, really high outgoing, good pips, bit of health. Can't go wrong, really. Once again, if you're more of a defensive healer, Jade Boots, never a bad shout either. There are also boots, I believe, from this, that give critical and outgoing. Yeah, there you go. From the Grand Tawny bundle, so it may be worth checking them out too, as another alternative. For the wand, Silver Order of the Spiral, from the Keeper's Law Pack once again. Quite a trend in this, but really good wand. If you're going on the budget, Sword of Kings, for life, also gives high outgoing. So, you bid up as well. Cosmic Chris, you can craft it. Vendors in Crustacean Empire, probably best to wiki where it is. But, alternative option is the Wolf Emerald's Talon. I just go for the Cosmic Chris instead because the pips is quite valuable to me, in my opinion. So, that's why I prefer the Cosmic Chris. For the amulet, you could have the Rasputin amulet. I believe it's called Rasputin's Charm of Extortion. But the Arcanum Exile does the job as well, same resist. The other amulet gives a little bit extra block and the health is good as well. For the ring, stone of the other side, you could go for the ring of the dying star from um, Morganth. But I've gone for this one because it gives a circle socket so you get a little bit extra outgoing. But either works just fine. Pet, basic wood pet and I put 4% outgoing into it. And deck, you can get this from Calamore Raiders in Imperia with an 11% accuracy jewel. So overall my stats look like this for 64 resist and 78 to the ones that I have wards with. Enough accuracy to never fizzle. Decent block, 139% outgoing with 27 incoming and 87 pip chance. And a decent bit of pip conversion as well, so can't go wrong. And without further ado, let us go on to the next gear set. So I've gone on to the PvP gear set next. So we have the Crocopatra Vigal Fairs from the Crocopatra Exalted Duel. You could also get Cow of Undying Malice there because the stats difference is minimal. Either one works. If you don't have Crocopatra Duels, but a Malice there. Both hats, very good. For the robe, Bone Slash Robe Brazil. Bit of a no brainer to me. You can compare it with the Undying Malice tunic. Once again, not too much difference, but I like the extra bit of resist. Don't particularly need the accuracy or pips because I get max anyway. So, but both work either way. So it's up to you to decide which one you'd want. Boots, ancient Persians Galus for the the damage and resist. Good pips, high health. Alternatively, the Cabal boots, secret tunnel, where most of them drop. For if you want to go for a cheaper set, gives crit. No pips, but accuracy, more health, a bit more damage, and less resist, and one extra pip chance. Wand, either Soothsayer, you could go for the Crafted Wand from um, Arcanum, from the Fire Scholar, Revered or Normal, but I just choose this one because I like the crit, the block, and the pierce. High damage as well, can't really go wrong with that. Spirit of Dark Morphorn for the incoming and outgoing. With the high damage, good pips, etc. Good sockets. Spirit of Dark Jewels from Shane One Shane in Dark Mall Part 2. Because Pierce resist. Alternatively, Morgan Family also very good. But it's up to you to decide which one you want for that. For the ring, I've chose the ring of the Usurper, I think that's how you say it. Now I prefer this one over the Douglas Ring for life for the simple fact that the incoming and outgoing is really good with the high damage as well. But if you want to play a more forceful game with your life wizard then it may be worth picking up the Duelist Daredevil Ring for level 110 instead. 
Um, we've got Timber Line Yeti, basic, for damage so we'll resist. Mount, Life Gulcher, but any stat booster is just a bonus really, and the 1v1 deck, Rasputin set of Water Druid for the accuracy, so my stats look like 129 damage, through deck resist, 28 accuracy, 33% crit chance, 29 armor piercing, decent incoming outgoing, your status will do around 14 to 1500 if you have TC ones. 99 pip chance, 6% shadow pip bonus, and only a tad of pip conversion. But if you have the crafted one, that will make the difference. So, our final set as a little bonus is the critical set. So, for that, I've got the Grokka Patrophes again. Could also use the Cabal Hood because that also gives very, very nice um, farming stats. Bone Smashes Robe from Rattlebones Exalted, Cabal Boots, like I say, the Cabal Gear Secret Tunnels. Torment of Skull Splitter, you could use the Hades Staff as well, or the Shard Hammer from the Jewel Crafters Bundle, because that also gives a very nice crit. I'm using double critical jewels on the, the Dark Woman's Dagger for damage, good pips. Spirit of Dark Jewel again for the critical, a little bit of resist as well. Mithraia's Vivid Seal from Mimic in Agro Bar. Quad Critical Pit, obviously this one's going to be quite hard to get, but if you come check out my Twitch streams, I do pet, give, pet hatch giveaways sometimes, so it may be worth coming along to try and get your hands on some good pets. Life Culture once again, and for the deck, just a random deck that gives good stats from, you can get this from the Jewel Slopes or the Rat himself. You know, you could use any of these decks really. Probably not this one though, because you want the critical when farming. And then the stats for that 106 damage, 38 resist, 10 accuracy, 805 critical, which makes 97%. I see 5% pip chance. But I mainly do this for the Leaf Storm pit on the Kookaburra for when I am farming full gold. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped. Be sure to subscribe for more guides on different classes in Wizard 101 very soon and thank you all for watching. Bye!